How's everyone doing? This is going to be a what movie should I watch vlog and let me know what you're watching tonight as well. Give me some movie recommendations to check out. Leave me those comments down below and this is also going to be a kind of a, a new collection tour real quick. I'm in the process of moving everything out of my office and into another room because this office area is going to turn into a nursery. Uh, if you didn't see some of my previous videos, I have a baby on the way coming pretty soon. So I got to get stuff ready and get out of uh, this office area. Uh, so as you can see, uh, those two bookcases right behind me, there's still some of the bottom shelves on the one, but most of them are empty right now. And uh, they're in the other room right now. But then I still have these two and then everything over here. And there's my dog, Mac. So still a ton, but I will go ahead and show you where it's going to be. It's going to be in this room where, as you can see, I have stuff stacked and there is an echo. So a lot of stuff stacked up everywhere. Um, it'll be nice to display these again and properly organize everything. This will help that process for sure. A bunch of Criterion, Steelbooks, Digibooks, some collector's editions and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm taking a little break. It's been uh, just a crazy, hectic uh, past few days, past few weeks, past few months. So uh, I'm just going to watch two movies tonight. So if you could pick out uh, two from what I'm about to show you, I would definitely appreciate it. I might uh, possibly check out Blue Bayou, um, Drive My Car, and Shang-Chi as well. I might actually you know, purchase some of those for digital because I've been wanting to see them. Actually, I can check out Shang-Chi on Disney Plus now, uh, but Blue Bayou and Drive My Car, I might purchase. I think they're like $5.99 on uh, the different platforms and stuff like that. Uh, I've heard good things about them. I've been meaning to check them out and I wanted to check them out uh, before Oscars and stuff. I wanted to make, a you know, my top 10 movies of 2021 list. There weren't a lot that blew me away, to be honest. So give me some uh, recommendations from 2021 for some of your favorite movies. Let me know what your favorite movie is from uh, 2021, uh, ones that you consider to be underrated, especially some, you know, lesser known international ones. I usually try to find independent international movies towards the end of the year because that's when they get released. But this year, not as many seem to come out. So, uh, but let me go ahead and show you the movies. Uh, I have a little stack here, ones that I want to check out. Matrix Resurrections, I still haven't seen this one yet. The trailer just really didn't do it for me. It seemed like a parody from the trailer. Uh, but I want to see it and uh, see if it changes anything conceptually from the original trilogy. I hope that's not the case. Uh, I talked about this before uh, when I showed this. The Wachowskis both going with uh, she, her pronouns. But they directed a movie called Bound uh, years ago with Gina Gershon and Jennifer Tilly, which I love the heck out of that one. Very sensual and uh, great tension in there. And I feel like that, that used to get a lot of uh, attention, but now it, I don't hear anybody really talk about it. So I kind of consider it underrated. Uh, I would definitely recommend checking that one out, but I feel like uh, Keanu looks like uh, John Wick right there. So that's on the list because I do want to eventually check it out. I've just been, the trailer just really didn't do it for me. But uh, Walkabout, which I have seen, but I want to revisit it because I remember liking it, but not loving it. And I do love Australian movies, especially in the Outback and stuff like that and Aboriginals. Uh, I think that's really intriguing. And I like the history of Australia, you know, starting out as a British penal colony and just everything going on uh, with them, you know, the Aboriginals and stuff like that too. Um, so I want to give it another chance. And I do like uh, Nicholas Rogue as a director. He's definitely what I would say an auteur. Uh, you can definitely tell his style right away. And then Shock, which is a new uh, release from Arrow Video. Uh, Mario Bava looks to be like a ghost haunting movie. And then an older... Uh, a Twilight Time release right here, Fortune Cookie with Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau looks like crazy uh, comedic and they play off each other very well. Uh, very, you know, odd couple. So, and then last on uh, the list of the physical media pile that I had separated that, you know, were at the top of my list for things to see is Long Pigs, which is a cannibal movie, which I've had in my collection for a long time and I haven't checked it out. It's signed up like multiple places on the disc in a card inside and on the front of the case. And it's very limited. And it looks like it's to be number five right there. And I remember seeing the unsigned version of this go for like a hundred bucks looking it up on eBay recently. I was like shocked. And then like the signed versions uh, weren't signed as many times as this. And they were going for, you know, 200. So wild. Um, if it's a movie I like, I will keep it for sure. But uh, if I'm not into it, it's going straight up on eBay or Macari or, you know, I'll offer up on here. But 
Um, you know, I haven't seen a good cannibal movie in a while, so I'll have time to check that one out soon, if not tonight. But let me know your thoughts on those ones that I just showed. Uh, if you could pick out two or any other movie recommendation that you think I should check out. Or again, Shang-Chi, Blue Bayou, Drive My Car. Those are ones I really want to see too. So uh, give me uh, your opinion, your choice of two to watch tonight. Let me know what you're watching tonight. Uh, give me uh, some movie recommendations that you think I should check out. Uh, let me know what your favorite movie of 2021 is. Uh, some movies you consider to be underrated or movies that you think should be on everybody's you know, top 10 of 2020, uh, 2021 movie list. Uh, leave me those comments down below. And I hope everybody's doing well. And look forward to more videos, especially, you know, moving the collection and stuff like that. Uh, that'll be coming up soon. And uh, take care.